Hey, let's talk about three archery hacks that could save you some uh, some time or maybe some money. And uh, we'll go from there. Thank you for watching. Hey, while you're here, click the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. You ever notice after you've waxed your bowstring, you've had it a year or two, <clears throat> that the wax gets kind of grimy on the string and it's all nasty looking? Here's a trick that will help you get the old wax off before you put on the new wax. While we're talking about wax real quick, we recommend, you know, roughly every 100, 100, 1 to 200 shots, you want to put some wax on your string. The older the string gets, the quicker it's going to start like fraying up. And if you wax it and it frays right back up, that's sort of the sign of you may need a new string. So keep an eye on that. And uh, what you're going to need to do this with is, of course, some string wax. And then you're going to need a piece of serving or some kind of a something similar to serving. I guess you could use sewing thread if you don't have any serving laying around. And what you're going to do, let me cut to an overhead camera and I can show you this better. So what we're going to do here is take our piece of serving or whatever you've got, wrap it one time around the string, and I'm going to take it and put a little pressure on it and I'm going to pull it up and down. See how it peels off that old wax? What it's doing is compressing that bundle back together and squeezing the old wax out. Now you, you don't want to just do this because then you'll have no, well, you'll have a little bit of wax in your string, but you'll have very little wax left in the string and it'll fray up. It's just peeling that wax out of there. If you got an old gunky string, this will really pull some of the old wax out. I don't know if you can see that in this camera because it's so dark, but even in this string, <clears throat> it is producing a lot of wax. So I'm just wrapping that cord around at one time going up and down a time or two and it's just popping wax like crazy out of it you want to do that everywhere strings and cables and then once you get the old wax out i'd recommend applying the new wax and of course you don't apply the wax to the serving the wrap you just put it on the string itself and then either take your fingers and rub it in real quick and you'll feel the string heating up once you apply the wax and what that's doing is getting that wax into those inner fibers. So a bowstring is made up of a bunch of fibers twisted together. So if you just rub wax on it and leave it, you're just getting these outside fibers. You want to rub it in and get it on the inside of it. And that heat, that friction will get it in there. You can also take a little piece of leather and wrap around it and rub it up and down and it'll burn it. Now be careful. You don't want to super duper duper heat up your bowstring because that's not good. But you, a little bit of heat, friction, You'll, you'll get that new wax in there and you'll give your bowstring a lot of life. Here's another problem people have. If you have a bow that does not have a roller in place of this cable rod, every now and then this cable rod will get sticky and as you pull back, it'll want to catch. Do, 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 do. That's what it'll, it'll kind of feel like it's catching as it comes back. We get a lot of bows into the shop and people are like, something just don't feel right. I hear something and I'll pull it back and immediately we'll figure out it's this cable slide. This rod has got sticky. Here's a quick trip, quick trip, a quick tip. I do love the quick trip. That's a good story. Here's a quick tip to help you if you have this problem. Do not put any oil, WD-40, anything like that on this rod because it'll just attract dirt and it'll make it 10 times worse. Pop your cables off or pop the slide off. Take some newspaper, all right? I learned this trick in like the late 90s. The ink on a regular old newspaper, not like a magazine, it's gotta be like old school newspaper has a lot of graphite in it, okay? You take that, 
onto your cable rod and rub it. Just rub the pull out of it. So the newspaper, and it'll take it a minute or two of doing that, the newspaper will actually absorb anything that's on there and the graphite from the ink will get onto the cable rod and it'll be smooth as butter. I don't remember who told me this trick back in the 90s, but I was like, do what? And then I had one do it. And now, I don't know, a couple times a year, somebody will come in with one sticking, we'll put the newspaper to it, boom. Don't forget to put your cable slide back. If you have a roller, it's a completely different ball game, so you can't use the newspaper. And then most of the rollers are self-lubricated or they have a bearing in them or something, so you don't even have to worry about it. So that's good as well. Hmm. Sale at Kohl's. Now listen, if you're a dude and you probably are watching this, this is going to sound weird, but if you're into paper tuning, you need to get yourself some lipstick. I'm not going to put it on. So the reason you need lipstick in a bright color, what's your favorite color lipstick? Is when you're paper tuning, there's a, sometimes you just cannot tell you get a weird tear. Where's the tip going? I can't tell. You take this lipstick and put it on the tip of the arrow. And when you shoot it through the paper, you have a little red dot to show you exactly where the tip went through. That way you can differentiate the tip and the fletching and the knot. Okay. I've been doing this for a long time. Um, I guess since the nineties. And, uh, when I get them weird tears and I'm like, I can't quite tell what's going on here. I dab it with lipstick, shoot it through the paper, boom, you can tell exactly where the where the tip's going. Along with that, I know this was only supposed to be three tips, but get yourself some foot spray powder, the athlete's foot powder spray stuff. And if you're having uh, contact on your bow with your fletchings, you just spray the bow at the shelf with the athlete's foot powder. And after the shot, you can see if a vein or a feather or whatever drug through the powder and tell if you're having clearance issues. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it helped you out. Share it with your friends if you think it could help them out. I'll try to do more of these as time goes along. If you need any help from us, we're the Archery Shack in Anderson, South Carolina. Our phone number is 864-735-8484. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, we also have a thing where you can ship your bow in and we'll tune it. We can restring it. We can do whatever you need um, if you don't have a local shop. So give us a call. You can also email us at archeryshack at gmail.com. Be happy to answer your questions that way. Check out our other videos. We would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. And we will see y'all on the next video.